So in our last videos, we took you through all the tools from Check It down to Translator. In this one, we're going to look at highlights and how to collect them um, and also take kind of a look at vocabulary as well. So let's say you want students to highlight and mark up a page. They can highlight what they want and then choose the highlighter color and now they've got highlights. At any time, they can clear the highlights, but when they're ready, they can press collect highlights. What's cool about this is it'll let them choose which highlights they wanna collect. When they press okay, a new document will be created. Now this is gonna go into their Google Drive and it's gonna make a document for them that they can retitle um, so they can put more notes in here to tell which one what, what it is. It's going to let them move it or put it wherever they want. So right now it's living in my drive, but it could go into any folder I want. So if I want to put it in the don't share this with Angie folder, I can move it there. Now, what I also uh, can do here is notice that all my highlights are pulled out. And I've got the link to the original document and I've got my name. So this could be really useful in that I could share this with partners. I could share this document with my teacher. I could upload this document to classroom and, and show my note taking skills. I could take this and use this for studying or whatever I need. Now, let's look at our other option, vocabulary. So let's say that this might open up something real quick, but we'll close that so I don't confuse you. Um, so let's go down a little further. And let's say we're looking for the word education. We're looking for the word laugh. And we're looking for the word talk. The other thing you can do is use this button to create a vocabulary list. If you click it, same thing will happen. A new document will be created. The new document will pull out just those highlighted vocabulary list words. It also pulled some of the original words that we had up, uh, up at the top. And what's cool is this vocabulary list, it puts a word, it puts the meaning, it puts a symbol if it has one, and it puts uh, an area for you to put notes. So for students who are learning vocab, this could be a really cool way to kind of make their own vocabulary list, share it back to the teacher, post it in Google Classroom, add it as an assignment, all those types of things. So that was just simply by making a highlight and either choosing to collect the highlights as a note guide or selecting to do vocabulary. So in the next video, we're gonna take a look at voice note and practicing aloud.